Behind these walls is where I found freedom. I spent over 2,000 days in prison learning more about myself in this life than I ever could have thought possible. Just behind these walls, I spent 17,520 hours changing my life. And when I teamed up with Sean, it was to change one billion lives for the better. Join us today and level up and become the architect of your greatest life. What's going on, you guys? Sean Michael Crane, I'm here, co-founder of Convicted Mindset. I wanna share with you something that I call the three keys to success, okay? These are three things that I've done consistently since coming home from prison that have allowed me to continue progressing and improving in my life, in all facets of life, my personal life, my relationships, raising my children, running my business, whatever I'm doing, I focus on these three things consistently to help me to move towards my goals uh, and to help me to continue finding fulfillment and success in anything I do in life. So before I start, I want to let you know, hey, I'm not perfect. I don't have it all figured out, but these things have helped me to go from a prisoner, an inmate incarcerated back out here into this fast paced world and, and really transition seamlessly. Okay. It wasn't easy. And I shared about what I went through in the last clip with you guys, but I had a sturdy foundation already built when I got out of prison. I didn't just sit around and wait till I was 90 days to the house to start improving myself. I started the moment I got locked up. And that's the first thing I want to talk to you about. One of my three keys to success, it's you and your value. And what I mean by this is your mindset, your perspective, your level of development is your foundation. Anything you want to achieve in life, whether it's financially related, uh, personally, in your career, whatever it is, it's all dependent on you, your knowledge base, your skill set, your mindset, your habits. That's your foundation. And so many people want to jump ahead and increase their earnings. They want to jump ahead and get to that end result. And they're failing to recognize that it's a journey, right? And the journey starts with you and you have to evolve and adapt as a person every step of the way. Okay. The version of me right now, I don't want to be that guy in a year from now. I don't even want to be the same way I am today a month from now. I want to always be learning and growing every step of the way, right? I'm a student of life. So when I opened up saying, Hey, I don't have it all figured out. I don't. I'm open to changing. I'm open to learning. I'm always growing, right? And that's crucial if we're going to achieve things in life and keep progressing. We have to always be taking in new information, whether it's through books, whether it's educational podcasts, whether it's going to events and seminars, um, other people listening to their perspectives and paying attention to what's going on in the environment. You know, we hear a lot about crypto. What the heck is cryptocurrency? Well, go study it. Maybe you can make some money off it, right? We learn about a new diet, something that's gonna help us have more energy and, and lose some body fat. What is it? Like, don't dismiss it, go learn it. Have an open mind, right? Constantly be educating yourself and taking in information and develop your skill set, right? Your level of success in life is directly dependent on your skill set. Okay, that's a fact. Your value. What can you give to the world? What can you give to your family members? What can you give to your community or the people that you work with, right? If you want to start a new business and get out of your nine to five grind, or you want to improve your relationship with your wife or be a better dad, whatever it is, it requires you to grow and adapt your identity and the way you're living your life, okay? So your value, that's number one. The value that you can give out, right, is dependent on the information you're taking in and how quickly you're applying it. Right. So we always have to be educating ourselves. We always, you know, at least I like to, I like to read every day. I like to write, you know, I like to observe things and watch things on social media that can add value to my life. And then I can try them. I'm seeing what other successful people are doing that are ahead of me on the journey. Right. And so that brings me to my second point is having good mentors. Having good mentors is so crucial because by proximity, meaning being close to them for long periods of time, you will gravitate towards their level over time versus if you're around people like old friends, family members, or people that just aren't thinking the way you are. Like if you want to achieve success in your life and you want to make changes, but your friends and even your family, they're thinking differently than you, right? They're stuck. They don't see the vision or the big picture like you do. If you're always spending time with them, it's, you're not going to feel inspired, right? You're not going to be pushed as hard as you need to be to hit that next level. And it's going to drain you over time. Now, I'm not saying that you need to just get rid of all your friends and family, but I really want you to pay attention to who am I spending the most of my time with, 
you know? One of the things that helped me tremendously when I came home was getting mentors related to business and you know my personal life. I had some great mentors early on that were further along on the journey than me. They had already had success in the fitness industry and that's where I had just entered. Uh, and I observed them, I watched them, I picked their brain, I saw what they were doing. I put my own twist on it and I applied it, right? And so the more people that you get around that are successful, that have more knowledge than you and, and experience, that are further along in the journey, uh, the quicker you're gonna be able to learn and it's gonna expedite your results. It's, it's crucial. So if you're someone related to business or personal life, whatever it is you want to do, surround yourself with people that are going to add value to your life, that are going to challenge you, that are going to prompt you to grow and learn every day. They're not going to settle, you know, they're not going to let you settle for mediocrity. They're going to hold you to that higher standard. Um, and that's, man, so crucial. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is related to mindset, right? And the word that I use to describe my third key to success, right? The first one was value, become a valuable asset that you can right then give to the world. Number two is your social circle or mentors, having good people in your life that are going to enrich your life and push you to be better. Number three is willingness, willingness. You know how many people I see complain about their life, but they're not willing to put in the work or make a change. You know how many people I talk to on a daily basis that want more, that know in their heart they're made for more, but they're not willing to sacrifice what they have now, maybe instant gratification, most of the time comfort and safety and security for something bigger and better? The truth of the matter is most people will never achieve what they're capable in life because they're scared, they hold themselves back, they doubt themselves, and they'd rather be comfortable in the moment than get uncomfortable and create something amazing. And what you must recognize and understand is that vision that you possess in your greatest self is living on the other side of that comfort zone. But if you stay stuck right here, you're never gonna know, right? So willingness to do whatever it takes. When I got home from prison, I had no money, but I found a job, right? I flew into Santa Barbara over those mudslides. I went and talked to the owner of that gym. I was willing to do whatever it took. Then a couple months later, I found a great business coach and mentor, but I had no money, right? Everyone says they have no money. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? I found the 5K to pay that individual and he changed my life. He changed the trajectory of my business and my personal life and allow me to take care of my wife and kids so my wife can hang out with our kids every day. We're building a home. Like it changed my trajectory. It gave me a whole new path in my life because I got value from him, right? He was valuable and I attained that knowledge and wisdom because I hired him as a mentor and I learned from him and it massively expedited my growth. I've been willing to do whatever it takes every step of the way. If you're somebody that wants to leave your nine to five, but you don't know like where to start, man, I don't care what you have to do. If you want to go be an owner of a gym one day and you have to start as the janitor in that gym and work your way to trainer or behind the desk, then trainer, then head trainer, then owner, this is how it works. Nobody goes from point A to point Z overnight. You have to be willing to put in the work right? Use those stepping stones because you're going to grow from every level, right? To eventually become that person that achieves that vision. You're going to become that a person that is capable to achieve that success. I hope that makes sense to you guys, right? I hope the way I broke that down can somehow, some way, not only intrigue you, but spark some thought, some creative idea, or some mindset shift that needs to take place for you right now in your life to make the changes that you want in order to create the results that you want. Most of the time, people aren't happy with the results they're getting, but they're not willing to change. They don't know how to change. So these three keys to success that I just shared with you, I promise you, if you start with that sturdy foundation and building yourself up every day, then you start surrounding yourself with people that are going to help you to better your life, that are going to challenge you, that are going to motivate and inspire you, right? And then you're willing to seize every opportunity, never pass down an opportunity, take action every day, put in the work 10 times harder than everyone else, do whatever it takes to achieve that vision you will not be denied. That is the key to my success and I will continue to replicate that in my personal and professional life every day. I hope you guys can find value in that too. Convicted Mindset, we're here to serve you and inspire you in any way that we can. I'm here to give you life-changing strategies that help me to go from prisoner inmate number AN1137 to accomplished life coach, best-selling author, family man speaker, and doing what I love every day. If I could do it, I promise you can too. Welcome to Convicted Mindset. I'm your co-founder and co-host, Travis Ritchie. And I'm Shawn Michael Crane. And we're here to make sure that you have the tips and the tricks and the resources necessary to lead the greatest life possible. We realized with our time spent incarcerated that some of the worst prisons in America were not made of concrete and steel, but were rather the limiting beliefs 
and the self-doubt and the mindset that didn't serve you to be the best human possible. We want to take all of the strategies and learning lessons that we uncovered in our time of incarceration and bring those resources to people who feel stuck in their life right now. We've developed four pillars of self-mastery that cover mental, physical, spiritual, and financial well-being to give you access to that information so that you can apply it to your life. We've created a convicted mindset coaching program to literally walk you through those steps and give you 52 weeks of accountability and support so you can break through any limiting beliefs you have or stuck points in your life right now and really start creating that life 2.0 that you've dreamt of. What we realized that while we were incarcerated was that access to real, real life changing skills was scarce. And so what we want to make sure that we're giving to you are tangible step-by-step -step resources that help you physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially to take you from where you are to where you know you deserve to be. Join us today at convictedmindset.com and help us level up the world to change one billion lives for the better.